Fusion is the process of joining hydrogen atoms to create helium and energy. We hope this energy will be used in the future for safe, clean, low carbon electricity and industrial heat. One of the most well-tested fusion machines is a tokamak. The tokamak is essentially a magnetic cage which holds a spinning ball of plasma in such a way that applied heating and pressure are enough to fuse hydrogen isotopes to create helium and energy. This fusion reaction also creates neutrons which stream out from the plasma at high energy and pass through the first wall of the tokamak. The neutrons can be reacted with lithium in a breeder zone close to the first wall. Lithium is the most efficient breeder material for fusion because it reacts with the neutrons to create tritium and more heat. The tritium can be fed back into the plasma, thereby creating a self-sustaining fuel cycle for the fusion power plant. The heat can be fed out to a turbine hall in the breeder coolant circuitry. Lithium breeders come in many forms, as solid ceramic pebbles, as flowing or static liquid, or molten salt. The lithium-based breeder is often called a blanket because it not only generates tritium, but also acts as a protective shield in the tokamak, stopping neutrons moving further out to the plant and capturing the heat as we've just described. Breeder designs are growing in novelty and complexity, but engineering scale builds are still relatively scarce. Liberty aims to support the development of these engineering scale breeder systems by offering a testbed where these prototypes can be exposed to neutrons to generate tritium in repeatable experiments. Liberty will bring together neutronics models of the breeder engineering components, thermal models of the moving gases and liquids, and physics models of the tritium trapping, permeation and diffusion models to simulate each experiment before it is run. Once the Liberty neutron source generates neutrons and the breeder experiment starts to produce tritium, data points for tritium concentrations and species across the experiment will be recorded. With repeated experiments, a model trend or curve should emerge, representing the aggregated effects of the components and operating parameters of the breeder experiment. The emerging data will help us improve our simulated experiments. By changing experiment parameters, Liberty will help breeder developers to understand the effects of, for example, smaller lithium pebbles, lower purity molten salts, higher operating temperatures, or increased coolant gas flow rates. In the future, AI and supercomputing will help us run these experimental iterations in silico. And Liberty will start us on that path by creating a digital replica of its physical testbed and experiments.